The most valuable technology falling into the wrong hands could be a catastrophic turn of events, especially if the owner of it is not among us anymore. With everything falling on his best friend's shoulders to clean up the mess and return the entire Stark tech into the world to where it belongs, Rhodey will have a lot on his hands. However, he will not be alone, as there might be some familiar faces there to watch his back, and even new ones to continue the legacy Tony Stark has left behind. Among many of the announcements that came at Disney's Investors Day 2020, we also got the confirmation that a Disney Plus series titled Armor Wars will be coming in the near future, with the summary of it suggesting that we're going to get a lot more insight into Stark tech, many Tony Stark Iron Man connections, and everything that is happening with the legacy of Tony after his passing when he sacrificed himself to save the world from global genocide during the events of Avengers Endgame. Yes, we're all excited just like you. You know who else is excited about the series? Walt Disney CEO Bob Chapek, who has high hopes for the series, and who went on to say that the series will scratch all the itches of the fans regarding the Iron Man-related content. We would be lying if we said that we are in desperate need of the return of Iron Man in any shape or form. The iconic portrayal of the character from the side of Robert Downey Jr., which left us wondering to what extent would the people in the world go to in regarding the Stark technology, to use it for their own good, but mostly bad and selfish reasons. The series will place Don Cheadle in the lead role of the series as Rhodey, aka War Machine, as he will be the one tasked to clean up all the mess with the Stark technology lying around in strangers' hands, and close, if not all, many of the loose ends Tony's untimely death left behind. Now, the series will not see the sudden return of Iron Man, but will feature a ton of other heroes inside the iconic suits. Or so we think. This is our educated guess. But if the story of the series follows the storyline that spanned across seven issues in the comics between 1987 and 1988, in which Tony discovers that the top secret technology he uses to create the Iron Man suit is now in the hands of several deadly supervillains, racked by guilt, he swears to use the powers of Iron Man to bring the evil to an end and take back what is his. This will more or less be the story from which the series' story will get adapted in the live action with some minor changes along the way, as the events of the MCU have given the superheroes, especially Rhodey in particular, as he will be the one in charge of the mission to return all the technology in the world to where it belongs, and face all of the consequences and obstacles along the way. The Tony Stark factor will play a big role in the series, as he's the one behind all the technology that's fallen into the wrong hands. So the question is, how might Tony Stark have an impact in the series outside of the sentimental value we're all going to cherish during the runtime of the series? His death, unfortunately, seems final. He died bravely and gave his life for the others. There was even a funeral to say goodbye to him, so it's unlikely that we're going to see Robert Downey Jr. in the flesh. However, as we said before, a flashback or a hologram of sorts could be the thing that might spark some light into his prodigy's time wearing the suit. Rhodey, who will likely see the downfall of everything and be risen up from the ashes by his best friend Tony Stark in his darkest times. The series will showcase Rhodey's journey as a superhero on his own, sort of out from under Iron Man's shadow, with the series constantly playing with our emotions regarding Tony Stark, what he meant for the MCU during his life, but also now after he is gone forever. Don Cheadle also said that there might be a crossover or two for him and the other members of the Avengers, with him reuniting with some familiar faces throughout the series, and many other new characters that have yet to leave their mark on the MCU. And before we move forward with the leak we found regarding some other characters that might be coming to the series, we have to address Gwyneth Paltrow, aka Pepper Potts, Tony's love of his life, who seemed like she was done with the Marvel Cinematic Universe, with the final moments of Endgame being sort of like an ending to the character. And of course, we were wrong, as Marvel has some plans for her. After all, Tony and Pepper's daughter Morgan is still here, who should be a big time character in the future when she grows up. Paltrow, on the other hand, has made statements about a possible return. However, all of it was always put under a guise of a very small role that would essentially act as a cameo. 
Well, this is not the case right now, as both Paltrow and Marvel have hinted at a possible return of Pepper Potts as soon as the Armor Wars series, with her acting as a side character, an appearance that would set her up for a future major role in the MCU, especially now that she's the owner of the rescue armor we saw in Avengers Endgame. The only thing we can think of right now for the major role of Potts would be for her to serve as the simplest way of passing Tony's torch to Riri Williams, a teenager who is a successor of Tony, much like Peter Parker, with Potts serving as the closest connection between the two in Riri's own series titled Ironheart. That'll be released at a future time, after Armor Wars, but more on that some other time. Long before the MCU even existed, the Avengers led the charge in the Marvel comics. However, in 1984, there was a new gang in town. The New York-based cadre of superheroes licensed out the business of saving the world on the West Coast to a California offshoot, a movement that saw the rise of the West Coast Avengers. And we're saying this because the Armor Wars series could take away some of their storylines and adapt them for a future batch of fresh new films in the 21st century's MCU, with the team-up somehow having an impact on the series itself and all of the heists that are about to go down. The rumors are also saying that Vision will be the one in charge of the group, or in our case, White Vision, who is now roaming the MCU after the events of WandaVision, trying to find his purpose. Seems plausible, don't you think? We should also warn you that these are all rumors, so don't take our word for it just yet. We have been talking so much about Stark technology and falling in the wrong hands, but we never mentioned how it could all happen, right? Well. The Armor Wars series will probably see the return of one of Iron Man's most classic villains, one that has already made his live-action debut, and the one who is still somewhere in the MCU. Of course, we're talking about Justin Hammer from Hammer Industries. Seeing how much of the story will be adapted from the comic storyline of the Armor Wars, we can clearly see the connection between Hammer and Stark Tech, as he is the one who will be able to sell the Stark technology to the highest bidder and information Tony Stark managed to pull out from Force, aka Carl Walker, the first person who Tony managed to capture of using his technology, which he took from Justin Hammer. And knowing that Sam Rockwell is up for his return in the role, we just might have the villain that will be pulling all the strings in the series. I'm discovering, uh, correction, I'm rediscovering a new element. On a related note, Tell us down in the comments below, what are your thoughts on the series? Which returning characters are you expecting to come forth, both good and bad? Do you think that we're going to see Tony Stark in a cameo or two? Possibly in the form of a flashback or even a hologram in Rhodey's suit. Tell us, what are you most excited about for the series? And also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.